All right, the temperature is dropping in parts of Canada this week. Many are without a place to go to escape the cold, again, in somewhere warm. They don't have the tools, some of them, to keep uh, up with the falling temperatures outside. With more on this, we're joined by Jody Steinhauer. She's the founder of Project Winter Survival, and she joins us now. Jody, uh, we know it's often difficult to get members of the homeless community inside to coax them to come in and get the help they need. How do you do that? What's, how do you possibly convince somebody who's set against coming inside to do so? Well, I think the, the people who are doing that are the experts, which are the social workers and the outreach workers in the shelters. And one of the ways they do that is by providing them a kit from Project Winter Survival, which we've built. And it allows them to use it as a bridge to say, let's get inside. Do you need housing? Do you need something warm? Do you need something to eat and a place to stay? It's a tool to start the communication of getting them off the streets and into the, getting them out of the cycle of poverty. And what do you provide within the kit? Because we all think, okay, there's probably, yes, something warm, like a warm blanket blanket, maybe some water, but it's really much more than that. Well, the kit this year has 33 items in it. The Project Winter Survival is a sleeping bag, which is the most valuable product, and it's got a, a carry strap so they can carry it around with them. The obvious things like a toque and a warm glove and pairs of socks, but there's things that people don't think of, such as a pen and a pad of paper. When, when somebody needs to go somewhere to get the next meal or meet with their outreach worker, they don't have a place to write it down. Uh, nutritional drink is a big thing. Sure. They need nutrition. It's a, it's a tough thing. A reusable coffee mug and then a whole array of uh, hygiene products uh, because something as simple as a face cloth sure. right and a rain poncho for, to keep them from the damp moisture all right so how long have uh, you been around how long has the organization been around and how do you manage uh, sort of to keep up the supplies and keep uh, pushing those things out to the people who need it well, Project Winter Survival is a part of the Engage and Change charity. It has been in existence for 15 years, and we wish it wasn't in existence. Mm -hmm. It's a Band-Aid solution. Homelessness is a national issue, and it's all about abolishing homelessness. But until it is, you know, more than 59 people last year died in Toronto alone on the streets from freezing to death. We've only had one so far this year, but we've had more cold weather alerts today than we had all of last year. So this is about making sure as much as we can that people do not freeze to death. Do you find things are getting better or worse? You said the organization has been around now for a number of years. Have, have you been able to gauge that? I wish I could tell you they were getting better, but this year we've had almost a 20% increase just over last year. And, and it's really due to the, the weather we've experienced. But unfortunately, homelessness is on the rise. It shouldn't be. Long-term housing is the solution. But we always say we will be around until there's no more homeless homeless issues in the winter. So uh, let's talk about sort of what's available for people who do want to get out of the street and how other people can help. If you're sort of a Torontonian, for example, and you're sure. walking around, what do you do? How can you help either through an organization like yours or just in general? Well, we're always looking for donations of product and money and volunteers and people to come on board and get engaged. But there's the city lines that you can call and you, you can report somebody who's homeless and seen them. And there's outreach vehicles which will go and try and get those people, get them off the streets and get them into housing in a warm place. Uh, most of all, in, in, you can just walk by someone and smile and say, are you okay? I mean, it's really, the homeless people could be you or me, two steps away from it. That's what everyone really needs to understand. All right, we're going to have to leave it at that. But Jody Steinhauer, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you.